All right, so in the last one, we got our profile set up for viewing other people's profiles. Now I want to work on inserting a follow request. So let's go and we need to create a couple more widgets. Let's do, uh, oh, we have followers following all that stuff. So we also need to uh, get follow and, and unfollow. So let's go down into on create here and do m follow equals text view uh, view find view ready r to id dot follow and unfollow so m unfollow equals pretty much the same thing view find view ready r to id dot unfollow and that should be good. Um, so now we need to handle I guess the different situations. So let's go here and do m follow set on click listener new on click listener and I can do uh, now following m user get username sure and then m unfollow I guess I can just copy this m unfollow m unfollow now unfollowing the user and so for now, we're, we're going to need to obviously check to see if the user is following the user whose profile they're looking at. But for now, we're just going to work on inserting a uh, request. So we can do Firebase database get instance get reference, and we can do uh, the child, and we want to insert into the following node. So get string r dot string dot following. It'll be it'll be database name following I haven't created that yet obviously and then child it'll be user get user ID and then child we want to look for the field user ID so field user ID and then dot set value to we can just do user get user ID so we're not gonna actually insert like we're not gonna create a following object we're just gonna insert the ID that's it so, and uh, yeah, so that should be good. We'll also need to insert it into the other user's node. So uh, in this case, into the following node. And then in the other case, this is gonna be in the follow followers node. So we go followers, and this is going to be the current user. So Firebase off, get instance, get current user, get user ID. And that's the same. And then we just copy this and put this down there because it needs to be inserted into two nodes, right? It needs to be inserted into like the list of who the user is following and then also inserted into the other user's followers node. And after looking at my logic here, I realized that what I just typed doesn't make sense because if we want to insert it into the following node, uh, this has got to be into the other user. So Firebase off get instance, get current user, get user ID. And then this one will be the opposite. This has got to be inserted into the users who, whose profile we're looking at. So because we're looking at his profile, it gets inserted into his followers node. So this, this, the users whose profile we're looking at, and that should be, that should be pretty much it there, I believe. And then after that, we need to change the view because currently the widget that's visible is the one that shows follow that blue one. I don't know if I, yeah, so this is the one we need to change it to the unfollow widget. So we'll execute a method here. Uh, we'll call it, I guess, set follow, set following. That makes sense because we're setting, setting it as you're following that user. So let's create that method down below. Let's go down. Actually, we'll go below init, down below init, we'll go private void set following. So updating UI for following this user. And so we'll go M follow set visibility view dot gone because we've now followed them. And we're gonna do M unfollow set visibility view dot visible. Because now they have the option to unfollow. And we're gonna do a third option for the edit profile widget, which is the one that I've commented out right here. So I'm actually going to copy I'm going to cut that and throw it up into my widgets here. So private edit profile and then grab this 
and do edit profile and instantiate that widget and I can uncomment this now and go back down into our set following method here and do edit profile set visibility view dot this one's also gone and so there's basically going to be three situations there's going to be set following uh, set set uh, unfollowing set set unfollowing and then a third situation for uh, set current users profile so set unfollowing will be the opposite this one will be visible this one will be gone and then for set the users profile these two will be visible or invisible and that one will be visible so updating UI for unfollowing this user update whoops UI for showing this user their own profile okay so back up here and I have some red right so these strings I need to create those strings let's go into our resources and create a new string and this is going to be a couple database names so I just copy this line up here it's database following following and database follow followers and followers and so yeah just and just in case I didn't clarify earlier I don't think I did we're not going to do any kind of a private profile option. It's just going to be straight up. If you follow them, then you can see their stuff. If you don't, then you can't. That's that's all we're going to be doing. So that should be good there for inserting a follow request. Uh, it didn't take very long. Let's write the unfollowing now too. So it's going to be very similar. So I'm going to copy that and go down into here. And it's going to be pretty much the same. Uh, so set we're going to be setting unfollowing, uh, but it's pretty much the opposite. So I believe I can just, we go following user, get the user ID and then just remove the value. So dot remove value. That will be all we need to do. And same here, dot remove value. Get the user or the node, get the node, the user ID, the current user and then remove value yeah so that should be good so let's uh, let's test that out let's run this okay let's go to the search and we're gonna search for the other user which is Mitchell Tabian and I'm gonna bring up the Firebase database in the background here so I'm gonna collapse everything and let's hit follow and you can see two uh, nodes were inserted we have followers and following so in followers we expect it to be under, let's see, the HCU, which will be Mitch Tabian. Yeah, because he acquired followers. Oh, no, yeah, that's right, because Mitchell, Mitchell.Tabian received a new follower, which is this guy right here. He received a new follower. And then under following, we have Mitch uh, added a new following, which is this. Yeah, so that's that's working the way it should. Cool. So, and then let's try to unfollow and exactly the opposite happens. Perfect. So everything is working as, as we expect at this point. This video isn't too long yet. So maybe let's create a method really quick for determining if the user, if uh, the user is following the currently viewing profile when they navigate to the profile. Cause right now, if I was to navigate away and come back, uh, it would be wrong basically. So if I wanted to, back to Mitchell.Tabian, it would show me that I'm not following him, but I am. So there needs to be a way to retrieve that information. So we'll create a new method and let's just put it down below, kind of near we put all this stuff here. Do private void is following uh, as like kind of like a question, are they following? So checking if following this user. And to start, we'll do set unfollowing and then we're gonna do a query so let me just grab one of these queries here. I'm just gonna grab this guy and paste it. Where'd my method go? Here. Paste it here, get rid of the ones, get rid of the one there, reference and query. 
And so we're going to be searching into the following node. And what do we need to search? We need to look for the current user. So let's go child, so following, and then we want to look for the current user. So Firebase auth, get instance, get current user, get user ID. And then what do we want? Then we want to look for the user ID of the user that's in the intent. So order by child, user ID, and yeah, look for the user that's in the intent. Because we're checking to see if the logged in user is following the user who is in the bundle, basically. So now let's get rid of that. And if something is found, so if we have something found, we don't need actually a class even here. We can just do, uh, just get value. If something's found, we don't need to retrieve it or anything. We just know that, okay, then they are definitely uh, following this person. And we just go, okay, set the following. So we want to call this in on create when everything gets started, because that's the first thing we need to figure out. So is following is what we want to call. All right, let's run that and take a look and see if it's getting the correct information. Okay, so let's go to the search screen. And so when we go to this profile, we expect it to say that we are following them. And it, and it does, it gives us the correct information. Uh, yeah, so no photos, everything's good. We're not following them, so let's unfollow and then go back. And there's a little bit of back navigation issue, looks like there too. Click, click the user and there we go. So it is definitely working. We can click follow and go back again and it's, it's showing the correct uh, state, correct follow state. I do want to make sure that the, the comments thread and everything is working correctly though. So let's log in with that other user and upload a photo since they have none. So let's sign out, sign out, sign out and go and up and log in with MitchTavian at live.com and password login. Oh, I disabled the sign-in method. There we go. Ah, email's not verified. Uh, I can't even send a resend link. I'm going to have to recreate this user. Okay, there we go. So now let's go to the share portion, and I want to just upload a photo. Share it. Uploaded. Okay, let's go to the profile. Make sure looks like it's uploaded. Also, want to set a profile picture. Okay, so now I'm going to log out and go back to the other. Actually, I can just check from this one. Let's go to search and just look for Mitch. And now hit follow and also click on his photos. Looks like I don't have the onclick listener. Uh, oh, there we go. So it did work. It just crashed. Okay. So it looks like that's not working correctly. So in the next video, we'll take a look at resolving that issue right there. I'll see you guys in the next video.